What's up, everyone? My name is Alan, founder and consultant at For Now Marketing, and welcome to day three of Braze Miss 2023. So yesterday on day two, we talked about the three types of user data that we see on the user profile, which were profile data, SDK data, and custom data. And custom data actually had three types also, which are custom attributes, custom events, and purchase events. Today, we're going to talk a little bit more in depth about profile data. Profile data can also be called profile attributes because like custom attributes, profile attributes are adjectives that describe a user. The biggest difference between profile and custom attributes is that profile attributes are universal and will most likely be collected by a majority of the brands versus custom attributes, which will be very customized and specific to each brand. We also mentioned yesterday that profile attributes can sometimes be called default attributes. That is because Braze has a list of reserved data fields that can only be used for these profile attributes or default attributes. So let's take a look at this list of profile attributes with the reserved data fields. We can find this list here on user import Braze documentation page, which will be linked in the YouTube description below. And we won't talk about all of these, but let's go over some of the important ones. External ID is the primary and unique identifier for your consumers. It's also called user ID in many cases. For my example, it's the 1234ABCD5678EFGH ID right here. User alias name and user alias label always come in a pair. And it's another way to identify your users, mostly reserved for your prospective users. We will have a video on the different types of identifiers in the future, which will be super helpful. So please keep an eye out for that one. First name, last name, email, country, date of birth, gender, home city, language, and phone. These are all pretty self-explanatory data, but there is a few things to note here in the description. For example, country codes always need to follow the ISO 3166-1 alpha-2 standard which I believe is just a fancy way of saying the two letter code for each country. You can check out more here on this Wikipedia page. Date of birth, as well as all other date types in Brace needs to follow the ISO 8601 format, which is the familiar year dash month dash date format. And phone numbers need to follow the E164 format, which for US phone numbers is plus one area code and the rest of your number. Let's scroll down a bit to email subscribe and push subscribe. So these are the user's email and push subscription statuses respectively. And these fields can be one of three values. They can be opted in, unsubscribed, or subscribed. And subscribed is usually the default state for most Braze dashboards. So these are some of the profile attributes or default attributes which have specific data fields reserved for them meaning these fields right here can never be registered as anything besides a profile attribute. Another important note is that these field names are case sensitive. So lowercase first underscore name is a default attribute. However, capitalized first underscore name is not. And if you try importing this data field, that will get registered as a custom attribute. Same thing with email, the reserved default attribute spelling is exactly E-M-A-I-L, all lowercase. Any variation of that would be registered as a custom attribute. And the only way to target the user via email is if the email address is logged under the correct email field under the profile attribute. Here are some examples of default attributes that have been logged incorrectly as a custom attribute. So you can see that these tiny spelling errors will result in a pretty big error when it comes to data ingestion in Braze. And to clarify, just because you see an email address in this custom attribute box does not necessarily guarantee that you have their email address logged in the correct place, which should show up right here on this top left corner. And one last note before we wrap it up today, you may have noticed these terms string and Boolean. Uh, here in the user import page. And these are called data types, not to be confused with the different types of data that we've been talking about. Unfortunately, there isn't a better way to distinguish them. But every data needs to have a specific data type, and we will talk more about these in a future video. To summarize today's video, we talked about the different types of profile or default attributes, which are a list of attributes with reserved data fields. 
That's it for day three. If you have any questions, please share them in the comments. We're happy to help. If you learned something from this video, please subscribe for more awesome Braves videos in the future. Thank you for watching and see you next time.